Good morning, everybody, and this is your DAX day trade setup for today. So uh, we ended up with an inside bar. It is a green inside bar, but uh, haven't really broken above the levels that we're looking at. So uh, there is a small level here. I do want to leave that level in because it is pretty important. But let's just pick up this previous high here, and you can see we did close above it. So technically, we basically closed above it on Friday, and then we ended up with an inside bar. So um, we'll get to what we need to look for now but i think the three hour is important here look at the rejection bar off the top so you basically gap down came up closed the gap and then came to the downside uh as far as i'm concerned we have a crossover now we are above the moving averages on the three hour that is bullish for me uh, you can see this 155 is gradually increasing all the time still believe that this is a double bottom it's forming obviously we need to get above this uh, this picture of last week so bear in mind the weekly bar here I don't know if we looked at that yesterday but look at this massive pin bar okay so that to me is just indicating that there are a whole host of buyers coming in there um, okay let's just get down to our that's what we want to be looking at so uh, the last two days of last week Thursday and Friday it was pretty strong one-way traffic and I said to you yesterday, we need to stay above our moving averages. And that's exactly what's happened. We've had a crossover fairly wide apart, but gone sideways. There's no real structure here. And what we're looking for is structure. And you can see there was some uh, tails there. You can see we came back to that, tested it, bounced back to the upside. Um, this gap here will need to close. There it is there. So that needs to close. And then we also need to get above uh, the high of, that was the weekly high, yeah. So that's the weekly high of last week. So we need to get above it. There's a bit of resistance ahead of us. So it's 15.476 and 15.495. So that 15.500 area is pretty critical at the moment. For me, I think we have a little bit of structure here. So this is still the area that I'd like to see us come back and defend. We didn't defend it yesterday. You can see we rejected it. We came and defended the, the bottom level. But this is the, because this was previously resistance. You can see one, two, three, four times that we tried to break through there, failed, and then a pretty strong move. So that's a strong level of resistance. And you can see we haven't really, we tried to reject it there, which looked like it was gonna work. And then we sort of reversed during the um, US Open and closed above it. So that's still the level that I'd need to pay attention to. So that's 15.418. I'm looking for support on that level. And then we may be looking for some opportunities to buy into this. Uh, big problem with that is that we do have this overhead resistance, which is going to hold up price. Um, there's no two ways about it. So you're going to have this area here, 15.452. And then you're definitely going to have this area here of 15.4. It's not quite 4, 7, 6. It's there. Let's bring it down to there. So we're going to have that 15.473. And uh, then we're going to have the previous highs. Just fine tune that to there. And that is 15.493. So we've got to get above that before we can actually see any, uh, any decent gains coming in. So probably wise just to wait for this break of the last week's high and a retest of it before jumping in on this. Uh, it could just stay in this sideways motion all week as well. So just be prepared for that. A uh, little bit topsy-turvy at the moment. So uh, on the DAX, still waiting, but I am anticipating some breaks happening soon. So if you did manage to get in down here at 15.355, well done. Uh, not sure I would have held that just with all this barbed wire here I would have probably dumped it but um, that's kind of my view at the moment so I'm anticipating we need to get a break above these three levels yeah we get a break above it and a retest of them then uh, I think we will have a, a fairly strong move to the upside and you can see where the measured move is still up there at 16071 so this is for the long game we need to wait for the structure Anyway, hope it helps you and uh, we'll catch up with you bright and breezy tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.